from a pizza of six slices, Pranay ate three slices and Jayanth ate two slices. The ratio of quantity consumed by Pranay to that of Jayanth is three is to two. Hello everyone, this is Pranay Sai and welcome to the ratio and proportion lecture. Ratio and proportion. Firstly, let's understand the concept. What does a ratio mean? It gives the relation between two quantities of similar kind. What does the similar kind mean? Both the quantities such as A and B are related only if they are of similar kind. That is if one quantity is given in rupees, the other should also be in rupees. Then the ratio can be written as A by B or A is to B. Here A is the antecedent and B is the consequent. For example, 4 by 5. Here 4 is the antecedent and 5 is the consequent. Let's say the given ratio is A by B. Then multiplying each term of the ratio by a non-zero number, let's say it as K. Or division of each term of the ratio by the same non-zero number that is A by K or B by K does not affect the ratio. Let's understand this with an example. Let's take 4 by 5 as the ratio. Multiplying each term of the ratio by a non-zero number, here let's take it as 5, will become 20 by 25. And this on simplification will be same as this. Coming to the dividing part, let's divide it by 5. It will be 4 by 5 by 5 by 5 respectively. And on simplifying this, we'll be getting the same ratio. So even if you multiply or divide it by a same non-zero number, then it does not affect the ratio. Let's understand the concept of compound ratio. For suppose, let's think there are three ratios given. A is to B, C is to D and E is to F respectively. And in order to find the compound ratio of these three ratios, we need to find the product of antecedents to that of consequence. Yeah, A into C into E are the product of antecedents and B, D, F are the product of consequence. So by using this formula, we can find out the compound ratio. Now let's understand what does a proportion mean. Proportion is nothing but equality of two ratios. For suppose, if A is to B is equal to C is to D, A, B, C, D are in proportion. And this can be written in the following way. For example, 3 is to 27 is equal to 9 is to 81, which is given. As these two are equal, we can say that 3, 27, 9 and 81 are in proportion. Here, B and C are known as means and A and D are known as extremes. Similarly, in this example, 27, 9 are known as means and 3 and 81 are known as extremes. So the formula of a proportion is product of means is equal to product of extremes. That is B into C is equal to A into D. Now let's understand what does fourth proportional mean. If A is to B is equal to C is to D, then D is known as the fourth proportional and the value of D can be obtained from this formula that is D is equal to B into C by A. In order to find the third proportional, if A is to B is equal to B is to C, then C is known as a third proportional and this can be derived from the formula C is equal to B square by A. All these formulae are derived from the standard formula that is product of means is equal to product of extremes. And finally, mean proportional of AB is given by the formula root AB. Now we shall understand a couple of shortcuts. If A is to B and C is to D are given, then the simplest of ways to find out A is to B is to C will be AC is to BC is to BD. I will explain a trick to remember this. A is to B is given and C is to D is given. In order to get this formula, 
first let us multiply A to C and then B to C and then B to D that is AC is to BC is to BD. In another case let us say if there are three ratios given if A is to B, C is to D and E is to F are given then in order to find A is to B is to C is to D will be ACE is to BCE is to BDE is to BDF. This might be a bit confusing. Let us understand it through a trick. A is to B is given, C is to D is given and E is to F is given. So ACE is the first one and BCE is the second one, BDE is the third one and BDF is the fourth one. So AC is to BC is to BD is to BDF is the formula. Let us try an example for this. Let us say if A is to B is equal to 5 is to 7 and C is to D is equal to 6 is to 11 then A is to B is to C will be a is to C, B is to C and B is to D. Similarly here 5 into 6 is to 7 into 6 is to 7 into 11. So the value for AC is to BC is to BD will be 30 is to 42 is to 77. This is how you solve the general questions asked in ratio and proportion. Try out an example for this formula. Hope you have understood the shortcuts. Type 1 comparing ratio questions. Two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. If 7 is added to both, their ratio changes to 3 is to 5. The greatest number is. To solve this, let us understand the given data. It is given that two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. So let us assume the two numbers as x and 2x, as the ratio is given as 1 is to 2, and 7 is added to both the numbers. Therefore, x by 2x and 7 is added to both the numbers. So x plus 7 by 2x plus 7 is what we have achieved. And then he said that after adding 7 the ratio has changed to 3 is to 5. So from that let us equate this to 3 by 5. So all you need to know is cross multiplying. 5 into x plus 7 is equal to 3 into 2x plus 7. And on solving this we will be getting x is equal to 14. This is the value of x but in the question he is asking us to find out the greatest number. Out of these two numbers 2x is a greater number. So on substituting the value of x in 2x we will be getting the greatest number value that is 28. This is the answer. Now in the second question it is given as a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3, b is to c is given as 4 is to 5 and c is to d is given as 6 is to 7 is asking us to find out the value of a is to b is to c is to d. There are a couple of ways to solve these questions. One is by equating the ratios which is pretty lengthy but in this question let us try to keep it as simple as possible. a is to b is to c is to d is what we have to find out. Let us write down the ratios below these. a is to b is given as 2 is to 3 and b is to c is given as 4 is to 5 and c is to d is given as 6 is to 7. In this shortcut trick we are left with few blank spaces. We have to fill these with the preceding or succeeding terms. Here we have the preceding term which is 3. So let us write this as 3 and this also as 3. In this case we have 4 in the succeeding term. So here is 4 and we have 5 here. So this is 5. Similarly 6 and 6 respectively. And what do we do after that? we multiply each and every column. We get 48 here, we get 72, we get 90 and we get 105. Then we have to look out for a number which divides all these numbers. In this case all these numbers are divisible by 3. So dividing these numbers by 3 we will be getting 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35. This is the value of A is to B is to C is to D. Write down the given ratios like how I did it here 
then fill the blank spaces with the preceding or succeeding term then multiply each column and from the result obtained after multiplying divide each of these with a single non zero number that is how you can find the solution to these type of questions if 40% of a number is equal to 2/3 of another number what is the ratio of first number to second number before we solve this question let's understand what percent is as a name itself suggests per cent so cent means 100 for suppose let's assume percentage of a number is given then how do you convert it to fractions that is that number by 100 similarly if it is 25% it is 25 by 100 50% it is 50 by 100 and so on now we shall try to solve this question 40% of a number is equal to 2/3 of another number so let's take the two numbers as a and b if 40% of a is equal to 2/3 of b this statement is sufficient to build an equation therefore 40% of a is equal to 2 by 3 of b that is 40 by 100 into a is equal to 2 by 3 of b and this becomes 2a by 5 is equal to 2b by 3 and from this a by b becomes 5 by 3 that is a is to b is equal to 5 is to 3 so this is the ratio of first number to the second number let's solve another question the fourth proportional of 5 8 15 is let's write 5 8 15 and take the unknown value as x so this is a b c and d if a b c d are in proportion then product of means is equal to product of extremes from the question we can say that 5 8 15 and x are in proportion therefore you can write it in the following way now product of means is equal to product of extremes therefore 5x is equal to 15 into 8 and the value of x will be 24 this is how you can find out the fourth proportional or you can directly substitute in the formula that is d is equal to b into c by a even this formula is derived from the product of means is equal to product of extremes so both are one and the same this is how we can solve the unknown proportion questions type 4 divide or distribute questions a sum of money is to be distributed among a b c d in the proportion 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3 if c gets rupees 1000 more than d what is b share let's solve this let's assume the share of a as 5x and that of b as 2x and c as 4x and for d it is 3x and in the second statement it is given as c gets rupees 1000 more than d so c is getting 1000 rupees more than d therefore from this 4x is equal to 3x plus 1000 4x minus 3x is equal to 1000 and from this x is equal to 1000 so this is the value of x so what is asking for what is b share so if you know the value of x it is easy to find the value of b share so b share is equal to 2 into 1000 which is equal to rupees 2000 this is the answer let's solve another question a sum of rupees 1300 is divided among p q r and s such that p share by q share is equal to q share by r share is equal to r share by s share is equal to 2 by 3 find p share to solve this let's take p as 2x and q as 3x respectively now let's try to understand the value of r and s we can write q by r is equal to 2 by 3 isn't it I have written it from the question here from this we can write r as 3 by 2q as we have taken q as 3x the value of r becomes 9x by 2 similarly r by s is equal to 2 by 
from the question s can be written as 3 by 2 r and we know that r is equal to 9 x by 2 therefore s value becomes 27 x by 4 now p is equal to 2 x q is equal to 3 x r is equal to 9 x by 2 and s is equal to 27 x by 4 and it is given as the sum of rupees 1300 is divided among p q r and s therefore p plus q plus r plus s is equal to 1300 from this 2x plus 3x plus 9x by 2 plus 27x by 4 is equal to 1300 and this on simplification we will be getting x is equal to 80 now this is the value of x but in the question is asking us to find out p share having achieved the value of x p share will be 2 into 80 which is 160 rupees this is the value of p share keen observation and understanding of questions plays a key role in solving these problems all the best